Well, I forgot to uh, pump up the airbags in the back of the truck, so a uh, little heavy, a little heavy. Well, we're going today. We're going to try to go. It's uh, April 25th here in Michigan. It's a little past go time. It's a nice day. I mean, the soil is still cold, so, uh, you know, I don't think it's maybe sand ground, but the ground that I have, uh, I wouldn't necessarily be out planting yet, but uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm really ready to get going and doing something. So here's to a start. So I just wanted to give a little bit better update um, than I did before. I know I was a little rushed. Um, yeah, so it's uh, April 25th today. Um, ah, it's just, um, looking at the fields um, so that's the one field that if you've seen in the past videos uh, it just looks looks decent um, the rain has held off for a while so yeah gonna, gonna start uh, chisel plowing um, I know a lot of people you know chisel plowing in the spring isn't ideal um, it creates compaction and um, that's really not something that I'm, you know, looking to do, but uh, it's just uh, to get the stalks buried and everything like that. Um, <laughs> waiting for that guy to go. I'm pulling the chisel plow behind me, so definitely not going to go before him. But yeah, I'm excited to get going. So um, for any of you that haven't watched this before, up I'm, I'm up in New Era, Michigan. Uh, Michigan's still on a uh, shelter in place. Our governor just decided that uh, that's getting extended now to uh, May 15th. And honestly, I have no idea when it's gonna end. Um, she did lift some restrictions, which to me were just crazy before. Um, all those greenhouse guys weren't allowed to sell any, any of their stuff, uh, weren't allowed to do anything like that. Um, ag for the most part is uh, considered essential so uh, thankfully the suppliers are still um, working um, I go through Cirrus uh, Cirrus co-op uh, for all of my stuff and uh, yeah we uh, um, planning on getting going it's still been cold it's been snowing um, I've watched uh, Minnesota millennial farmer I've seen he he gets going and uh, you know it was even some snow flurries but uh, the soil steer here is still cold and then especially uh, with not getting a chance to get out and um, uh, do uh, fall tillage um, I really want to get those stalks stalks down somehow but uh, yeah I'll turn this around quick so uh, when quarantine first started, I decided that I was going to shave my beard off um, Just because I was thinking okay, it's gonna be two three weeks at most um, It's still going I plan to to keep it until I guess things uh, are back to normal if that's a if that's a word anymore, um, as normal as it can be, and then I'll um, trim it. Uh, my my full time job, we're not allowed to go into the office at all. We're all work from home. Uh, thankfully, still working. Um, we'll see if that changes, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, so since I'm working from home, decided to grow the grow the beard out. Um, be a lot nicer if it didn't come in red so um, have my little man in the back uh, we're gonna install the car seat today and uh, he's gonna ride with me because uh, um, I'm trying to be good to the whole uh, stay at home stay safe um, social distance yeah so um, yeah we'll see how it goes today but uh, I had to show, hair's not too bad. That's not getting too bad, but the beard's a little longer than I would have uh, 
than I ever typically have it. So you can see the chisel behind me. <laughs> we'll get after it today. saying bye yet. We're going to go back to it. Yeah, it's parked. We just want to stretch our legs a little bit. Yeah. So this is um, 45 acres um, right here that we're going to get do. Um, we just did the smaller field. Uh, what? we call Hudson's Field. Isn't that right, Huds? Yeah. Hudson's Field. But overall, it's been going really well. Um, it'll be nice to get these stalks worked in. Um, yeah. What do you think? Tractor. Yeah, tractor. Uh, the ground is in, in really nice shape. Actually, if it was a little bit uh, Maybe a little bit warmer. Um, I know the soil soil's still cold, um, and yeah, it'd be nice to plant, but it's not early. But it's still uh, a little bit. Do you want to go back in the tractor? Do you want to go back to the tractor and go for a ride? No. Not yet. Not yet. He says not yet. So it's good. He needs to stretch his legs. Um, he fell asleep for probably a half hour. Uh, for those that actually know what I'm talking about, he fell asleep and slept while I was doing the end rows, which was actually quite impressive because uh, that's not a a good uh, smooth ride. So yep. We'll, uh, we'll get going. Hi. Hudson, can you say cheese? Can you say cheese? Can you say cheese? Hudson? Yeah. Do you want to go back to the tractor? No. No. Yep. Still saying no. <laughs> well, time to take a video from in the cab. Uh, thankfully this field is uh, a lot longer so it doesn't feel like I'm constantly uh, turning. Uh, you can see I did one pass last, uh, it was December, uh, definitely didn't work. Ground was frozen, uh, it was constantly plugging up, just wasn't going to work. But uh, overall, we're going. It's doing a nice job. All things considered. Hudson's back good. 
uh, we did that little break of, uh, of walking uh, and he found himself uh, a toy um, that needed to come back in the tractor. So yeah, we got the car seat. Um, like I kind of said earlier, uh, with the whole shelter in place and, and really um, only being around the, the ones uh, that you've been around, uh, we kind of, Hudson, Hudson's with me today. So we got the car seat installed. Worked really well. Just used a ratchet strap on the buddy seat. Uh, for those that have watched my videos before, it's not uncommon for him to sit on the buddy seat, but given that uh, it was going to be an extended amount of time today, I wanted to do the car seat just because he's a lot more comfortable. Yeah. But, of course, uh, while I'm videoing, uh, it would be the one pass where there's a stake in the field that I'm going to have to go around. So, I'll have to quick uh, turn this off. And, uh, it's going to be close. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to have to do it. GPS going uh, with the auto steer. Um, it's really me just being lazy. <laughs> but yes and no. Uh, with the auto steer, you're, you're not overlapping and uh, you're maximizing the, uh, the fuel and everything like that. So um, I don't, I don't mind it. Definitely can see the remnants of last year. Um, Plan 19 and just the spring that it was. For those that watched the combining videos last fall, you know those spots. <laughs> You okay? Stretching her legs again. We've gone a little ways. Hi. <laughs> yeah, handsome. Tractor. No, the, the tractor's the other way. Oh. Do you want to go back to the tractor? Okay, Huds. I'm not quite done with that other field. I would say probably 75% or so. Um, I'm heading to the one field that's usually really, really wet. Um, the ground has worked up really well, like I said. Um, so I want to head here and, and see what it's like. Um, I know it's not great getting it chiseled and then potentially having it rained a lot, but that field hasn't been worked nice in a while. Um, and so if I can get lucky and get this chisel across it, I know it's not like a ripper, but it really, it could use some breakup, in my opinion, um, and some ruts clean up and a lot of things, so we're going to head to do that, 
it's uh, it's going really well in my opinion. So yeah, we'll get to that. man did really well um, today. Yeah, you did really well, didn't you? <laughs> oh, I love you. Yo. So, time to call it a night. I would guess um, 50 acres in today, chiseled. So, good start. Um, I only do, I'm doing 135 this year, so uh, we'll get there, but time to... Uh, Call it, call it a night. Can you say good night, Huds? Good night. Can you say good night? Good night. Good night. Say night night, tractor. Okay. <laughs> Hope you all have a good one.